Welcome back to the channel where we dive into the biggest stories in the music industry. Today we're talking about Cameron's heated reaction to the NFL's decision to have Kendrick Lamar headline next year's Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans. The Dipset rapper is especially upset that Lil Wayne, a hometown hero, was passed over, and he believes Jay-Z is to blame. Let's break it down. So on his sports talk show, It Is What It Is, Cameron made it clear that he's a huge fan of Kendrick Lamar, even calling him one of the top artists of this generation. But despite his respect for Kendrick, Cam isn't happy with the NFL's choice. He argues that with the Super Bowl taking place in New Orleans, Lil Wayne should have been the obvious headliner. After all, Wheezy is not only a legendary rapper, but also deeply connected to the city. Cameron calls it egregious that Wayne was overlooked, and he thinks there's more going on behind the scenes. Cameron didn't stop there. He hinted that Lil Wayne's exclusion might be payback for past issues, pointing fingers at none other than Jay-Z. As we know, Jay-Z has been involved in organizing the Super Bowl halftime shows since 2020 as the NFL's live music entertainment strategist. Cam believes that Jay-Z's influence is what's keeping Wayne off the stage. He even referenced Lil Wayne and Jay-Z's old rivalry, which included lyrical sparring and tensions between Cash Money and Rock Nation. Although they've since made amends, Cameron seems to think that past issues are still lingering. There's no reason why Lil Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. It's one person who's stopping this. I know, you know, it's not really, it's not really a secret. Lil Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. Who's that? Who's Lil Wayne artist? Drake. Yeah, that not, this is this hating is, at this, this age is it, crazy. It's crazy, yeah. bro. You, bro, bro, it's ridiculous. Like Mike, 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 Little Wayne no, not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super Bowl is egregious, and it gotta stop. I can do it. It gotta stop. Mike Bills will tell you what's going on later. It gotta stop, bro. It gotta stop, man. Yeah, and I'm it, doubling down on that. Like, hating at this age is crazy. Yeah, yeah. it's wild. I love Wayne. Well, it's wild, that, bro. Man. I work and, with and, Wayne. I love him. Great dude. Great yeah, and no, dude. And this has dude, nothing man. towards Kendrick. Kendrick. If anybody deserved it, Kendrick would deserve yeah. it. But this is some right, backstory. Right. Going on. Yeah. Lil Wayne himself hasn't commented on the situation yet, but Fabian Marasculo expressed his frustration on Instagram. Fabian shared that he was confused, disappointed, and angry over the decision, but also vowed that they would never be at the mercy of someone else's decision again. Clearly, Wayne's camp is feeling the snub, especially with the Super Bowl happening in his hometown of New Orleans. So what do you think? Should Lil Wayne have headlined the Super Bowl halftime show, especially with it being in his own city? Or do you agree with the NFL's decision to go with Kendrick Lamar? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss the latest in music news. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.